Hello, this is Solar PVTV once again from World Future Energy Summit 2017 from Abu Dhabi. And as always, it's like a family event here. We had so a lot of family events here and we are also together with the new family actually, with Marcus, Abdul and Badr, the guys who started recently the new joint venture in the region. It's so interesting joint venture because uh, actually they are very experienced people, very well connected. Marcus on a global level and uh, Abdul and um, Badr in Saudi Arabia, the country which just announced so huge solar developments. So just very shortly, guys, could you introduce uh, your companies to Solar PV TV viewers and uh, why you decided to make family together? So Marcus, first. Please. Thank you very much, uh, much too much. Um, so the idea of founding was company is really to share 20 years of global solar experience and to apply it to the Saudi market. Saudi market is a very closed shop market, so it's difficult to enter. You have to know the right people. And we are very proud and keen, keen looking forward um, to provide all this quality assessment, um, the supply chain optimization, uh, to bring best in class solar technology at lowest cost to the Saudi market. Abdul Moskin, so you remember in December yes. 2015, you promised us that Saudi Arabia will become the leader. the leader and the kingdom of solar. Did you keep your word, actually? Thank you, Thomas. Uh, yeah, I did say that announcement back in 2015 because uh, uh, we are sure Saudi Arabia uh, are going to develop such a big program uh, in the, for the country because due to the huge demand of electricity and the increase of the population, and the investment that the country is investing in the infrastructure projects, which is now is roughly almost going to be uh, finished, which require uh, lots of uh, electricity. So renewable energy became now into real uh, serious talk and the country has decided after the vision uh, of 2030, uh, they decide they, the, the clear vision is to develop renewable energy for the country on a program uh, that is being set out and we are very much optimistic with that within this year 2017 we're going to see this, the physical uh, start of the ground uh, operation uh, for the first uh, phase of the program so like i said 2015 things you know took not long two years which is quite not much time it's eventually is going to be happen in reality. We are uh, privileged to work with uh, Marcus and Honor Group. It's a very experienced company from Germany. So it's the right time for this right venture uh, at the right uh, moment. So we are uh, glad that this is happening right now. For regarding the company, uh, Global Tatweer, uh, it's mostly related about uh, rendering services for the renewable sector. I'd like to ask Dr. Beda to give a brief about its real core business. Uh, thank you and would like to thank uh, Solar TV for promoting solar to be uh, one of the reliable source and clean source for the energy. Uh, it's my pleasure today to be with you here and to have this announcement as we form our uh, partnership with uh, our colleague Marcus from Germany with AUBD. Uh, Global Tatweer is, is a holding company and we, we uh, formed it recently to play the major role in uh, renewable energy sector. Uh, the idea came actually after the uh, announcement from the King Salman, King of Saudi Arabia, when he said that the private sector will play the major role to be a partner with the government. So we formed the Global Tatweer to be one of the major players in the market and to take the role to uh, fulfill the, the private sectors, you know, uh, th their engagement with, with the government and to provide uh, the fully integrated services. Uh, so, Marcus, a uh, few minutes ago we had some informal discussion about the opportunities, the, the, the true actual opportunities on the uh, Saudi Arabian mar uh, market. And I liked very much, you know, your approach. Could you just tell us more? How do you believe and why do you believe in the, in the market? Sure. So um, 
on the meta level, there's the following situation. Um, China just recently announced that they have installed 35 gigawatts of solar last year. That means that when we look at their target by 2020, 105 gigawatt installed installation, there's just 30 gigawatt left. We are, from UPD research side, very sure that that will be handled in the first half of 2017. That means that we will see additionally strong pressure on prices. And Thomas, you know, we were discussing for four years now about Saudi market uh, kickoff. Um, so maybe it wasn't too, too bad to wait such a long time because we see system prices even below 700 um, US dollars. And this makes solar the most um, competitive energy source um, even in the Saudi market where we have to compete with very low tariffs um, by generating through steam and um, turb gas turbines as well as uh, nuclear. And this is an opportunity for the private sector because there will be good IRR and when we look of the global interest level, it's very interesting for Asian international investors to enter the market now uh, together. That's why we formed this consortium and the structure to enable all these um, global players uh, to be successful in the market. Question to Bader. Uh, because you are also a lawyer, yes? You have a uh, well-reputed uh, law company in the, in the country. I would like to ask you, you know, what will be the service that you are providing to the companies which would like to uh, enter to the market through your organization, your company? First uh, type of legal service, we provide a consultation about the legal framework on, on uh, Saudi Arabia and how the uh, foreign companies doing their business in a very smooth way and very, uh, uh, let us say, strategic way because some companies, they think about the procedures to form their business, but the most importantly to think not about the procedures uh, or the requirement to form the company, but about the how is there uh, the legal aspect for doing the business in Saudi Arabia. And Marcus, uh, from your side, what will be, let's say, your added value that you would like to bring to the partnership, to the new company? Yeah, for us, it's very important really to share this international knowledge about quality. So it's like a kind of triangle. Um, we, are, we are very proud um, to share this company to access the market because accessing the Saudi market is almost impossible for external players. So you need a broad network with good access to the important people, to the relevant people, to the decision makers. Um, what we can share is the 20-year experience of how to build solar systems, what supply chain you should choose, what is the best way to, to, to design a system, but also financing a system. We have to bring international finance. The Saudi market is also opening for new investors right now. So it's the triangle between these two value chains. And the third one is the customer, because the customer gets help by forming a joint venture amongst the umbrella structure of the global Tatwia to enter this market and to prof profit from time to market and therefore lowest risk and best profit till access to the market. Yeah? We, we, we saw so many companies in the last four years waiting to enter the market but, but nothing happened and now there is an opportunity out of the program that was announced by the Minister of Energy yesterday, 700 megawatts uh, will become physically real like my friend said yeah. this year. So uh, it's really about time to market. The setup is in place. We, we formed this setup in the last years. And uh, yeah, now it's, it's time uh, for change in regard of adding more renewable energies uh, to the kingdom. Yes, because it's true that uh, dream without action plan becomes only the dream, yes? Yeah. So, but as we are at the World Future Energy Summit, let's uh, think about the future, yes? So, uh, how would you describe uh, your company, your joint company? At, uh, imagine that we are at the World, Solar F no, World Future Energy Summit 2020. Could you present your company? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, we are very happy in 2020 here because we saw a great expo in Dubai. <laughs> um, we helped a lot of companies in the last uh, years entering uh, the market. It wasn't easy all the times, but we are very happy that um, everything was, that was set in 2016 became two. So there is really some gigawatts installed capacity. The investors are more familiar with the asset class solar. There is more trust to the technology and everybody is keen uh, to double uh, the market next year.
<laughs> Wallahi, this is uh, in 2020, I think we will be celebrating <laughs> because we're going to see lots of uh, physically installed uh, plants on the ground and uh, uh, and we will be very pleased with this achievement, honestly. By 2020, it's going to be a lot of megawatt be connected to the grid. This is what we been we are we been waiting for, so we'll be very uh, pleased with that uh, when it's happening. I think by 2020 it will be one of the major player in the Saudi market, because as I see there is a, a huge need in the Saudi market for a very professional company for the company who has all the capabilities, experience that. Uh, expertise, a track record, and I think we have all the success factors and success keys that's there, and we will be one of the major players in the market. But I think, uh, Badr, that you forgot about something, because there will be another important key, the support from Solar PV TV. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. Uh, so let's make uh, our dream, you know, with the action plan happen. Thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV with the new family, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabian German family with Marcus Abdul Moshin with Bader, who just formed Global Projects Development Holding, the company which will be in 2020 for sure one of the major players in the country. Thanks for watching.